Alright, what's up YouTube and welcome to Check This Gadget's first episode of Tech Talk on the 1st and the 16th. So this is a new uh, feature video series that I'm going to be doing where I upload videos on the 1st of the month and the 16th of the month. Um, discussing a current tech topic or some tech topic I feel like talking about or something involving tech. Might be talking about a specific app or something involving Tech Talk on the 1st and the 16th. Today on episode one, we're going to be talking about Ben Gate and why you don't need the iPhone 6 Plus unless. So, let's get right into it. Here, as you can see, I have the iPhone 6, or maybe you can't see, or you should be able to tell though. I have the iPhone 6, and um, that's what I decided to purchase. Let me tell you why. Initially, when iPhone made the announcement that they're coming out with two different iPhones the iPhone 6 at 4.7 inches and the iPhone 6 Plus at 5.5 inches I like most consumers was like I'm getting the iPhone 6 Plus I think a lot of the consumers were excited about the iPhone 6 Plus mainly because one it was huge from totally different from what they were used to with their little 4 inch screen on the iPhone 5s in previous generations well just the previous generation and 3.5 inch screen before that and you know they saw a big screen and thought yes must have and I'll admit initially I was the same way also but I had to think about a couple of things number one I had to think about how do I use my phone when I'm out and on the go when I'm out and on the go my phone is usually in my pocket especially if I'm like doing a, a very good shopping mall trip day. I like to have my phone in my pocket because usually, you know, there's always some deals going on in the store, you're getting certain percentages off, this and that I like to bring out. Bust on my calculator, see how much money I'm getting off, how much of a good deal I'm saving. So I'm always taking my phone in and out of my pocket quickly. Or I might want to price check something on Amazon, see if something's cheaper on Amazon, or check the website of a store really quick. So those type of things I'm doing, especially when I'm out on the go shopping. I usually use my calculator, price checking on Amazon, or looking at my task list to see what I need to get from the store, something like that. So, I thought about that. And then I thought, well, do I really need the iPhone 6 Plus? I mean, I already have large screen phones. I have, I have the Nokia Lumia Icon, 5-inch phone. A little thick, though, but 5-inch phone. I have the some charger here, HTC M8 thinner phone, and the best built phone um, right beside the iPhone 5S um, before the iPhone 6 came out. Of course, I still think just like a fantastic built phone. I, I prefer this uh, as far as build quality. I like this build quality. I think this to me not shit out in uh, 2014 before the iPhone 6 came out. Of course, um, over the iPhone 5S and it gives the iPhone 6 plus a run for its money also but this is a, a 5 inch phone but a tall phone so I've had big screen phones and I haven't been using those haven't came out the house that much granted my main number is on my iPhone 5S however um however those are my secondary phones and I still wasn't taking them out of the house just because I really couldn't use them like I wanted to. I mean, I might bring them along extra if I got bored, but I really couldn't use them as my main phone, really, because they were just a little bigger than what I would like. The iPhone 5S with the 4 inch screen was perfect um, as far as me being able to quickly whip out my pocket and do the little things I need to do when I'm out on the go and shopping. So, um, I, with keeping that in mind, I said, well, I want to like keep my iPhone 5S because I like the small form factor and then maybe I'll get the iPhone um, iPhone 6 Plus. Well, if you watch my unboxing video of the iPhone 6, you'll see basically why I ended up that didn't work. Mainly because I was trying to upgrade to iOS 8, I didn't have enough space, it was just a hassle. 16 gigs probably wasn't going to last me another year. It's I've been running out of store space all year. So I'm like, I'm just going to upgrade. The reason I went to the iPhone 6 instead of the 6 Plus, mainly for me, besides the fact I wasn't already using my bigger screen phones 
Um, anyway, was the fact that I have this. This is an iPad Mini. And I feel if you have an iPad Mini, what do you need an iPhone 6 Plus for? My personal opinion. Then I have my iPad Mini. I really I have the larger version. I still have my third gen iPad. I don't really use it. It sits on the shelf along my Microsoft Surface 2 that's not getting used right now. I don't really use my big iPad. I like to keep it just because I have the, the only reason I have upgraded that one is because I have the old YouTube app on there. Like before Google, before Apple removed YouTube off of um, the apps. You remember that? Remember way back when, before Google made their own YouTube app, Apple used to actually have a YouTube app? Yeah, I still have that on there. And I keep it specifically um, for that reason. I think that's on iOS 6 on that one. But anyway, I don't use that. Basically, I have my iPad mini. This doesn't really get a lot of use until I start traveling, actually, because I always use my laptop nowadays. Um, so, I have to think about it. And think, in which ways do I use my phone? And in which ways do I use my iPad mini? So, I wrote down the list. And I came up with some things. So I sat down and I thought, who would I use my iPad mini for? I really use it for traveling. When I'm traveling, and sometimes at the house, um, web surfing, definitely email. A um, couple different financial apps I like to use on there. Games, not really a big game player, but the games, when I do play games, are more enjoyable on the iPad mini versus my phone or the bigger iPad, in my personal opinion. And then the main thing for me, especially when I'm on vacation, is the pictures. When I'm out of town, I'm a photographer. I like to take a lot of pictures. And then I like to grab my uh, adapter, plug it into my iPad, upload all my pictures on my iPad, and be able to view them on the nice larger screen. So I was thinking, hmm, well maybe I can get the iPhone 6 Plus, and instead of having my iPad mini, I can just view all my pictures on there, and just load all my pictures on there, and basically eliminate my iPad mini. So this was the thing. My theory is, if you get the iPhone 6 Plus, you don't need an iPad Mini. So this is really for the people that have an iPad Mini. If you don't have an iPad Mini, then I can understand why you might want the iPhone 6 Plus. If you just into big phones, whatever, I can understand. But if you have the iPad Mini, and you intend to keep the iPad Mini, I don't know why you want the iPhone 6 Plus, because it's becoming a, too much of a merger. Um, if you, if you're trying to merge out and get rid of your iPad mini and consolidate into having as least devices as possible, then okay, I understand why you might want to get the iPhone 6 Plus. But if you intend to keep the iPhone, get an iPhone 6 Plus and keep your iPad mini, it really doesn't make sense. Think of it like this. Think back to when the initial iPad first came out. What do people say? They said, why would you get that? It's just a big iPhone. Remember that? I was one of those people that thought that too. Until I played with it and saw that, hmm, the bigger screen really say does help in some things. And then, of course, they eventually started making apps uh, specifically for the tablet. And, you know, the iPad is now a great, a great, fantastic, uh, productive tool. So, I'll, if you still have the iPad mini, when you look at the iPhone 6 Plus right now, iPhone 6 Plus is kind of like in that position where they were when they first initially introduced the iPad. It's just a bigger iPhone. And the reason I say that is because Apple has not took the time or utilized iOS 8 to take advantage of that screen real estate just yet. For example, when Android, because my, my M8 is charging dead, when Android started going to larger screens, um, they took advantage of the screen real estate. For one, when you when you first go see the iPhone 5, it's huge. Think of back when you first saw the Samsung Galaxy Note, uh, either the original Note or the Note 2. You always th thought, man, that phone is huge. Why would you want that? Same type of effect on with, with the Galaxy, I mean with the iPhone 5, 6 Plus. Same effect, like man, that thing is huge. Um... I have the, the Galaxy you Note. Know, that was my main driver phone. I love that phone. I had it for like probably four to six months, I think, if I remember correctly, which is a long time for me. Um, daily driver. And then after a while of just using it every day as my regular phone and taking it out and just using how I use my phone, it got 
the big screen just became too much. It was just, it just became a, more of a hassle than I wanted it to be. It was just too large. I was like, it'd be great as a secondary phone, but as my main phone, I wanted something smaller, something that I could easily more handle with one hand. Where you can handle the iPhone 6, 6 Plus with one hand, you can handle the Galaxy Note with one hand. It's not as easy with a smaller phone, of course, unless you have bigger hands. I have, you know, my hands are not that big. Um, so, that was one of the things. Um, but, at least with the iPhone, I'm sorry, at least with the Galaxy, Samsung and the Android operating system took advantage of that, that larger screen space. Like so. Example. Android, you have widgets to take advantage of the screen real estate and position them how you would like. Fantastic. I don't really have mine in any too particular of an order because I really just use this tablet to watch YouTube and surf the web and read Kindle sometimes. Um, that's all I do on here. So, you have this nice thing here where you have the widgets to take advantage of the space. Take advantage of the screen real estate. Android updated their operating system where you can resize the widgets, uh, made it so change like the pixel density so you can get the widgets, more widgets on there, and the widgets won't look all huge and you can make them smaller and get more widgets on there. Android took advantage of the bigger screen real estate. Let's talk about Windows. With Windows, before Windows um, started going to the big phones, you had the small phones. Pretty much this is how the phone used to look. You used to have these large tiles, you have a medium tile and a small one. But you, this was like the width of the screen. So, this is how the old phones used to look. Now, when they went to the bigger screen, they were able to add a whole uh, entire row where I can have more information on my screen. So I can have I I have the live weather, I have the news here with the pictures and the headlines, uh, calendar. I would have uh, my event there showing messages. I can have the latest text message to read. So I have all this information showing to me without even having to click into an app. Same thing on Android. I have information. I can have different widgets set up from different apps to tell me information without having to click into an app. And then we come to the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, and you just have apps. Um, now granted, I, I am able to, to fit more apps on this screen, which um, I guess some may like, some may not. Some may feel makes their screen more cluttered. I kind of like, I mean, my screen is it's like more, um, but I'm like, well, I can get more of my favorite apps on the first page, so, but I have a lot of apps, so. I mean, that's one good thing that I guess Apple's trying to do. Um, but I just didn't feel like they truly took advantage of what they, with the screen real estate with iOS, um, that they could have, especially with the 6 Plus. Like, for example, with the Galaxy Note, besides the Android operations, because you can do those in other Android phones too. But Samsung went ahead and they got the, the pen where you can write and some other stuff that the multitasking thing. And all that stuff that takes advantage of the screen real estate. I'm sure you saw the commercials. They've been playing a lot of them. And if you're on YouTube, I'm sure you definitely saw some. Samsung has been playing the mess out of that commercial. Now, I do see what Apple's trying to do as far as with the swipe down. I'm trying to get it where you swipe down and now have more information here in this swipe down thing. Which is understandable because if they come out with widgets, of course you want to say they copy Android. Well, for one, they've all been pretty much... Apple's pretty much in like catch up position because everyone's already accusing them of copying from others anyway. So they're already in catch up position. So I see what Apple's trying to do as far as having this information here in this wipe down, which is um good. We're on a good track. Um however I want I I want them to do more. I feel they can do more, especially with the six plus there's so much screen real estate. And this can kind of goes to the iPad mini. Um, what makes the iPad mini great is the apps made for the iPad. That the apps differentiate from how it looks on your phone to how it looks on your app, iPad mini. Because it's made for the, tablet, for the tablet to take advantage of 
hey, I have bigger space, let me show more information or put in a more productive way to take advantage of the screen real estate. I feel like that should also be on the 6 Plus. Maybe not so much the 6 as much, but I feel like the that Apple needs to make it so that the 6 Plus is shown more space. And I think they kind of touched on this. When they say, oh, you can switch, you know, turn your phone to landscape and you get this extra panel in the mail. Whoop-de-doo. And I think on, maybe on notes, it shows like how the tablet shows. Whoop-de-doo. I just feel like they potentially can do more, possibly. Um, like I said, I see what they're trying to do with this swipe down. Right now, I would like them to enable it where I, I, more apps can install the information here and I can have any app I want long as the app is um, allows you to do so and have information shown from any app I want as of right now um, you cannot do that as of right now this is pretty much all your choices that you have right now as far as what you can, can include in the day screen today's screen um, I would like them to open that up so that any app can allow you to have show their information right there I think that would be more helpful for the screen real estate um, considering what they're trying to do, I guess, um, like the widgets or to Android and the live tiles or to Windows, I'm guessing they're trying to have a scroll down to Apple, even though, of course, already on Android, you have this feature in maybe on the Windows. I haven't had the chance to, my update hasn't came in for the new, the new Windows yet. And I haven't really checked it out because I just like to wait until I get it, check it out myself. Um, now, Android already has this where you can swipe down and get information. I don't know if they're in fact, you might can, it kind of, it doesn't, well, it kind of shows like this in the same sense. I mean, you got to where you can show your email and, and stuff like that and get whether it's so pretty much Android can do the same thing that Apple's trying to do as far as, um, have this information right here if you want to but you just have to download the right red the right app or install some stuff and you can get it looking just like that also so um that's my that's my whole issue as far as why I don't think you need the iPhone 6 plus Un you know unless you don't have an iPad mini I can understand um, unless you're trying to get rid of your iPad mini and make your devices smaller I can understand. If you intend to keep your iPad mini, why do you really need the iPhone 6 Plus? It just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, maybe you use your iPad mini for work or school and then you just want to have your iPhone 6 Plus on the go. I mean, I guess just they're just too close in screen proximity to make sense for me. I mean, as a photographer, I liked, I thought about viewing my pictures one the smaller screen with the 5.5 5 inch screen beautiful full HD screen and saying hey I can just put all my pictures on there and run my town but honestly with photographers the bigger bigger screen real estate the bigger your pictures can be the more detail you can see so the bigger screen is always going to be better for when it comes to doing video and uh, for photography of course so that's why I still need my iPad mini and Consider how I use my phone, having the smaller iPhone 6 Plus, I mean the smaller iPhone 6 works out better for me, personally. And that's my opinion. I don't think you need the iPhone 6 Plus unless you uh, don't have an iPad mini, want to get rid of your iPad mini, uh, or you're like an athlete and you just have large hands. Honestly, that's the only reason I think you would need the iPhone 6 Plus. Also, let's talk about Bingate. Bingate is complete crap. First of all, no, your iPhone 6 is not going to be in. No, your iPhone 6 Plus is not going to be in. For the few cases that say, you know, the phone bent in their pocket, look, your pants are too tight. Honestly, your pants are too tight if they're bending in your pocket. Flat out. Either your pants are too tight, you're too big, or, no, I'm not going to say you're too big, but it's a big phone you need to take it out your pocket either your pants or the that phone is not meant to be in a tight pocket like why would you want it in a tight pocket that just seems uncomfortable so 
I mean, I, I, I think it's very isolated cases. Um, for the, you know, the tests that get, you know, a million hits or whatever, you guys gotta understand. He forcefully bit his phone with all his might. That's just not gonna happen under normal circumstances. No one goes around bending their phone with all their might. That's not gonna happen in your pocket under regular use. Like, he had to, like, really put force into bending that phone. That's not going to happen in your pocket, guys. Like, if you're falling into the hype, just stop it. Don't worry about it. You're going to be okay. iPhone 6 Plus or iPhone 6. You're not going to have these issues. I don't, like... It, it, being a gay thing is just silly to me, honestly. Like, you're not going to have that much pressure on your phone intentionally. And, you know, like I said, for the people that have it in the pocket, they're probably having some super tight pants. They've probably been sitting down way too long. It's probably, I don't even see how you can sit. It's probably, if your phone started bending, like, you have to be in an uncomfortable position. Because it just, your phone just doesn't bend. Like, it just doesn't bend. It's saying it's in your front pocket. You have to be in an uncomfortable position. Like, not phone 6 is a large phone to be in a tight pocket. Like, it can only be in a, and I'm sorry for saying like so much. I've just realized I just said that so much. But, um, if you're going to be having an iPhone 6 in the pocket, it needs to be in a loose pocket. I'm not even sure why you would want to carry that big of a phone in a tight pocket. So, I'll call BS on being gay. I don't think you're going to have these issues. Don't, don't, don't look into the hype. Anyway, videos a little over 20 minutes now, so I'm going to stop. That has been the first episode of tech talk on the first and 16th we'll check this gadget make sure you check back on the 16th for the new video new feature video not sure what the topic's going to be yet so make sure you check back you can always uh follow me on twitter it'll let you know when i upload videos or better yet you can subscribe and get it right in your feed also uh follow on my instagram i need to start uploading some pictures on there but i need some followers first so follow on there follow on twitter and most importantly if you're liking the content subscribe um, you can check out some of my other videos, tech, and I have a few sneaker and workout accessory videos up. Check those out. I look forward to uh, seeing you back on the 16th. Hope you enjoyed the commentary over uh, the first episode, Ben Gate, and you don't need iPhone 6 Plus unless. Until next time, guys, check this gadget. Check back on the 16th.